Okay, we've been working a lot on indefinite integration. And here's an example where remembering some of the trigonometry that you took last year will be really, really helpful to you, I think. So let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can't find, let's see if we can't find the indefinite integral of tan of x dx. So this does get kind of bad looking at first. It's kind of hard to figure out where to start. So oftentimes when you get to this place, and you're like, I don't even know where to start. Kind of start somewhere and see if it doesn't give you a jump start to the next place. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to rewrite this and say, from trig, I remember that tan is sine of x over cosine of x, isn't it? dx. So don't we have an equivalent here? So now I'm going to just start this little bit of business with this u substitution. I'm going to say let u let u equal cosine of x and du dx is equal to opposite sine of x. How would you know this? Um, well, you've memorized these things. There are a bunch of things that you should have memorized now. And by now, we're getting into 20, 30 things that you should have memorized and put away in your head as a, a place for you to kind of go through and look. So we're going to just start solving for dx and see du is equal to opposite sine of x dx. I'm going to divide both sides by opposite sine x and get du is equal to opposite sine of x. And that's equal to dx, isn't it? Now I'm just going to go in and start doing my substitution. And the substitution should look like this. This negative sign right here, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this out as a constant multiplier. So I'm going to put it out there. And then I'm going to put sine of x over u, right? Because I'm doing my substitution. I'm going to replace my dx with du over sine of x, right? So hopefully this is going to get really pretty really fast, isn't it? So I'm going to simplify these, these two cross out, don't they? We're going to get opposite, whoops, hello, uh, du over u, du. I'm sorry, not over du, right? Just like that, sorry. I think that makes good sense because isn't it true what we have is this? By definition, we have opposite. We have the derivative of u over the function u, don't we? So from here, hopefully you can see that, hopefully you can see that from here, we have an ln function, don't we? We have an ln function here. So hopefully when we start to integrate, you can see clearly that this comes out. This negative sign right here is this one. And this over this is ln, isn't it? By definition, u plus c, right? And then from here, just to keep moving, right, we can resubstitute and say that this is opposite ln cosine of x plus constant of integration there. So I, I hope that's really helpful. We're going to be more and more seeing problems like this where we're forced to look at things differently where we're, uh, a couple of problems are really straightforward, but a couple of them you're going to just be forced to use some trig identity. And in, you, in rem remembering those trig identities, the problems will become, I think, relatively easy. Without them, sorry, but they're going to be just darn near impossible. So let's hang in there and keep working on Go back and review your trig identities and go back and make sure you have your rules of differentiation and your rules of integration memorized.